Hey guys, I got another special unboxing video here for you today. Today we are going to be unboxing the sixth wave of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Amiibo. And the character lineup for this wave is Chrome from Fire Emblem, Simon Belmont from the Castlevania series, and Incineroar from the Pokemon series. Now, we're, these Amiibo were released on the 15th of November 2019, the same day as Pokemon Sword and Shield, and we're getting pretty close to the end of the base roster of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, we've only got one more wave before the base roster is complete, but this is the last, like, wave of three Amiibo, because most of the line of the, mo most of the waves have just been three Amiibo. This is the last wave that has three Amiibo in it. The next wave will only have two. So we're getting pretty close to the end here of the base roster of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. Alright everybody, I'm going to be unboxing Simon Belmont for this demonstration here. Now if you've never seen me unbox an Amiibo on my channel before, I have a set way on how I unbox the Amiibo. I like to prefer I like the artwork that's on the back of the box of the Amiibo, and I like to preserve it as best I can. So what I do here is I take my knife here, and I cut three sides of the box. And then I lift up, like so, after I made the cut, and I go and I snag the Amiibo out like that. So that way it's just a flap left, left open. I like to preserve the boxes just in case I have to move my figurines. Uh, to another building or something like that whenever I move. So I like to keep the boxes just in case I need to move all my figurines at once. So that's why I usually keep my boxing as much best I can. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter a hole right here. And we're going to go ahead and carve our way about three, three sides of this figure, of this box here. Try to get, get it as best I can here without damaging anything. Okay, so we're going to turn our way around that way. And then I'll make another hole right here. I'm going to cut it down that way. Now I'm going to make three holes. I'm just going to lift up. Oh, and then snag the amiibo. Now, you know, the reason why we get the amiibo out of the box is because you cannot use the amiibo while it's inside the box. Uh, you can't just plop it on your your switch uh, the, because the NFC reader will not work. Mainly because of this thing right here. This piece of metal that's right here covers the NFC chip on the base of the Amiibo, so you can't you can't use it if you had in the box, so you have to take it out. So as soon as we open it up, we can come in here and then just slide the Amiibo out as soon as it... Usually it doesn't give us much trouble, but there we go, we got it out. So as soon as we do that, we got the Amiibo out. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take out Chrom and Incineroar, and we're going to take a look at each one individually. The first Amiibo is Chrom from Fire Emblem. <laughs> Chrom's Amiibo is really something else. I'll tell you what. I really like this Amiibo. It's really detailed. But you can definitely tell the prominent feature of his amiibo is his cape. His cape has taken on mo majority of his of his amiibo, and I feel like sometimes if I if I just tip him over just a little bit, he'll fall over really easily. So just uh, be careful because the cape I feel like is a little heavy ended on one end. <laughs> so just be careful whenever you're placing it on the shelf. But Chrome is a really detailed amiibo, and I really like it. As always, the faces on the Amiibos are really good. They do a really good job with the faces of the human characters in Smash Brothers on these Amiibo figures. But the detail on his like his outfit that he's wearing right now is really nice, especially on the shoulder pad. You can kind of see the engravings on the me on the metal on the engravings on the shoulder pad here. And it's really nice. Uh, the sword, the Falchion sword. Is really nice looking. You can see the muscles on on um, Chrome here, which is a really good good design feature on there. And you can see his uh, his tattoo or his uh, marking, the Ulysses marking on his arm there. 
But yeah, Chrome uh, is a really good amiibo. I just... <laughs> the cape makes them a little lopsided, so just be careful whenever you're placing them down. But yeah, that is Chrome. The next amiibo is Simon Belmont from the Castlevania series. <laughs> now, as like Chrome, the prominent feature of this is the is the Morning Star whip of the vampire killer on this amiibo. And oh boy, is it ever so much the prominent feature. Uh one thing I just I could get why they did it, but you can see that <laughs> the whip is connected to his arm here and it's actually like connected so it looks you can't uh, separate the two but yeah the the whip motion that this the morning star is actually doing it kind of is really loose i guess they would be really loose if they didn't connect it there so i understand why they did that but it's such a weird thing to, to deal with but other than that, this is a really, really well detailed amiibo, especially on his cuirass. You can see on his cuirass and his uh, his leggings and whatnot. It's really detailed. Like you can see the the ages, like <coughs> the markings and whatnot. Excuse me. You can see the markings on his cuirass. You can see the details on his greaves and whatnot. It's really good. The muscles on his legs and his uh, boots. And everything else is just really detailed. You can see his face. <laughs> I I looked at his face earlier and I was like, man, he looks like a grumpy old man in that one. But I guess that's Simon Belmont in general. But yeah, that is Simon Belmont. And the last amiibo is Incineroar from Pokemon. Now Incineroar's amiibo is really, really detailed too. This is definitely the wave of very detailed amiibos because... If you take a closer look, you can see the fine fur details are all across Incineroar's body. It really, you can see the de the detail of the fur on his body and everything else. And not only that, you can see the flame. They have like some sort of detailed flame on his championship belt there. And I just really like, you know, the pose that Incineroar's in. He's, he's you know, he's a grappler, so his arms are very very long and very big prominent feature of him so it's really good I love this amiibo the only thing I just don't like is he's got a giant case of, of stand coming right up behind his back again I understand why they put these stands here but when you look look at him from the back end it just looks weird <laughs> yeah so he's got another one of those stands sticking out from his back on the base of the amiibo and it's basically to make it so that the amiibo doesn't fall over it's make it not lopsided but yeah that is Incineroar but yeah guys that was the sixth wave of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Amiibo I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next unboxing video I do take care everyone